welcome back students to the virtual lab demonstration this video demonstrates synthesis of solid state materials or nano materials the links for the other experiments are provided at the end of this video and also in the description box to get the notification of next video please subscribe like and share the video i am dr sujata kasbe from abasaheb garwari college pune let us begin the experiment theory zinc oxide is one of the most studied nanometal oxide it has variety of applications such as a photocatalyst in degradation of organic pollutant as gas sensing material in gas sensor device photo anode in dye sensitized solar cell uv ray absorbing material in sunscreen lotion white pigment in the manufacture of paints filler in tire making etc in laboratory zinc oxide can be prepared by precursor method the precursor used is either zinc oxalate or zinc carbonate zinc oxalate can be obtained from reaction between zinc acetate and oxalic acid in 1 is to 1 molar proportion by these reactants grind together reaction is as shown over here acetic acid is formed as by product in this reaction and evolved as gas during grinding process it can be identified by its typical irritating smell the product obtained is dried in an oven at 110 degree centigrade and ignited in silica crucible to decompose finally it is annealed in furnace for 90 minutes at 600 degree centigrade to obtain crystalline zinc oxide powder and the reaction is as shown over here chemicals zinc acetate zinc sulfate oxalic acid sodium carbonate and distilled water apparatus required are mortar and pestle beaker oven and muffle furnace procedure synthesis from zinc acetate dihydrate weigh 2.2 g zinc acetate dihydrate and then transfer it in a mortar then weigh 1.7 g oxalic acid also transfer it in a same mortar and grind with pestle mortar for 15 to 30 minutes it may form paste then dry it under ir lamp or in an oven at 110 degree centigrade after drying grind the reaction mixture to fine powder After that transfer the final product into silica crucible and ignite it on a burner till it decomposes completely it will require 5 to 10 minutes then place the crucible in muffle furnace and anneal it to 600 degree centigrade for 90 minutes after that remove the crucible this will form final product that is crystalline zinc oxide next step is determination of band gap for that dissolve 15 mg zinc oxide and transfer it into 10% glycerin in water sonicate this mixture for 5 minutes in the range 330 to 600 nanometer now record the absorption spectra from maxima in spectrum calculate the band gap of zinc oxide formula for the calculation of band gap is delta e is equal to hc upon lambda that is 1240 divided by lambda max electron volt observation table weight of zinc acetate weight of zinc oxalate and finally weight of zinc oxide calculations 219.39 zinc acetate corresponds to 81.39 g zinc oxide therefore 2.2 g zinc acetate corresponds to 81.39 into 2.2 divided by 219.39 g zinc oxide answer is 0.18 g zinc oxide to find percentage practical yield W into 100 divided by 
0.81 that will give you the percentage practical yield result table percentage practical yield of zinc oxide and band gap of zinc oxide so students thank you for watching this video the another alternative procedure for the synthesis of zinc oxide from the zinc carbonate is given in the another video please watch it thank you